Hi, I'm Leslie, and I'm excited about Laura's project on the boards. I think that it's important to carry poetry with us throughout our lives and to share it with others. And one of the best ways to do this is to memorize and recite poetry. So today I'm going to perform for you one of my favorite poems, William Wordsworth's 1804 poem, I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud, also sometimes known as the Daffodils poem. Um, and this is one of my favorite poems because not only is it about this beautiful uh, event of he and his sister Dorothy wandering upon these lovely daffodils in the Lake District, but it's also a poem about the act of poetic creation itself. It's a poem that performs Wordsworth's own poetic theory. In his preface to lyrical ballads, Wordsworth makes the claim that poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings. And many people have taken this, this famous first part of the statement and really run with it and have kind of painted Wordsworth as this poet of nature and of kind of emotion to the point where he's often seen as a poet who just has these events occur in nature and just sits down and starts writing. But that's not really what he did. And that's not what he's claiming poetry is created um, at its best from. Instead, if you continue with the statement after the comma, so if you continue beyond the powerful um, overflow of spontaneous feelings, Wordsworth actually continues to explain that these emotions are then recollected in moments of tranquility. And that's what we see happening here in this poem. We see not only the event of wandering upon this beautiful sea of daffodils, but we also see the event of the poem itself, of poetic creation itself, and of remembering this spot of time, as Wordsworth would call it, where he wandered upon the daffodils. So anyway, without further ado, I will recite this poem for you. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle in the Milky Way, they stretched a never-ending line along the margin of a bay. Ten thousand saw I at a glance, tossing their heads in sprightly dance. The waves beside them danced, but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. A poet could not but be gay in such jocund company. I gazed and gazed and little thought what wealth the show to me had brought. For oft when on my couch I lie in vacant or in pensive mood, they flash upon that inward eye which is the bliss of solitude. And then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils. <laughs>